different series of YouTube tutorials today we're doing the conformal transformation in Excel and I assume you know this that this is not a basic introduction and you've done it in photogrammetry class or wherever so we're trying to recover four parameters to scale the rotation translation in X and translation in Y and just to say I took this example from that website up there so there's a worked example here And we're going to do it in Excel. So we want to work out what's the conform and transformation to tra uh, transpose. I was going to say that turns the coordinates in X, Y, that's points A, B, and C, into the Eastings and Nordics. So these are the control points, and these are the, say, in the photograph or whatever it is that's been twisted. The general setup is here, so let's try and explain how we did that in Excel. So, XA minus YA, where does that come from? Well, there's XA is 1, 2, 1, 1, 6, 2, 2. Minus YA is minus minus, so that's plus 1, 2, 8. Next line is YA, so that's 1, 2, 8, 0, 6, 6, minus, and Next one is XA, and that's 121.62, drop top seat there. Next point, XB. XB is 141.828, drops in there. Next point is minus YB, so that's minus 187.718, which is there, etc. And then we just hack on the ones and zeros out here. Where does the matrix L come from? So that comes from the Eastings and Nornings up there. So the uh, first one is XA, so that's 51089.20. Sorry. No, it's not. Just go left a little. 51.08920. Sorry. 1049422 just drops in there. Just narrow that a little bit. Next one is um, YA, which is 51089.20, which is there. Next one is XB, 104941395, etc. And the matrix V is the residuals, which we <coughs> won't get to today. So, going down here, there's the matrix A. There's the matrix L, and the X is the least squares method. So we have to go slowly at this. So A is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 6 rows by 4 columns, and the transpose of that is 4 by 6. So we highlight 4 by 6, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Equal transpose. And control, shift, enter. So finger on control, finger on shift, finger on enter. Next thing is A transpose by A. So A transpose is a 4 by 6. A is a 6 by 4. So it's A transpose is a 4 by 6. A is a 6 by 4. When you multiply them, you get a 4 by 4. So you mark out a 4 by 4 area. 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. Formula for that equal MMULT A transpose comma A finger on the control button, finger on shift, finger on enter. Okay. Next bit is we want to get the inverse of A transpose A, so that's the a transpose A is a 4 by 4. Inverse of that is a 4 by 4. Equal M I N V E R S E. Round the brackets, the array. Close round the brackets. Finger on control, finger on shift, finger on enter. Next thing is we want to get A transpose L. We want to get this bit. So A transpose is a 4 by 6. 
L, just easier to see it there, is a 6 by 1, a 4 by 6 by 6 by 1 is a 4 by 1. Equal MMULT. A transpose is there. Comma L and L is out here. And up a bit. Close round the bracket. Finger control, finger and shift, finger and enter. So the, there's a transpose L. Yeah, just remind you, 4 by 6 by 6 by 1 is a 4 by 1. And then finally, this guy, sorry, we have to do that. So A transpose A inverse by A transpose L. So A transpose A inverse, A inverse is a 4 by 4. A transpose L is a 4 by 1. A 4 by 4 by a 4 by 1 is a 4 by 1. So there we have it, um, just to say, I'd done this earlier and I just had them pasted in as text just to make sure I got the right answer. So what do these mean? So the scaling is four, minus 4.5, the, tra uh, the rotation is that lad, the translation in X is that lad, and the translation in Y is that lad. So there. Now the next bit here. We want to get the transformed control points. So how did I do that? So I have the formula there. So it's just to explain. Just go back here in a sec. Just explain how we did that. So there we have it. So we want to say. Sorry for jumping now. There, AX minus BY plus C is that. Where C, so A and B are the scaling and the rotation, and that's the translation in X. And D is the translation in Y. So, just look at that formula there. B52, so that's the, the A. By D2, I don't want to go up to D2, but D2 is the D2 is that lad, okay, and then uh, minus BY, so minus. B53, that's the rotation, by the corresponding Y plus C, where C is the translation and X, and the translation and X is B54. Uh, for the Y, or the Nording, it's AY, so that's B52 uh, plus B53 there, plus D, and D is that lad there or that lad there as I have it. So they give you the the transformed X and the transformed Y. I haven't calculated the residuals here. Stuff for you to do. How would you calculate the residual? Residual is the observed minus the expected and the observed is have to go up here the observed is B2 
and the expected is what I've just got there, which is E62. Sorry about that. Now it says it's zero. We might just get to get that to a couple of more decimal places. And we might dial up say four. And there we have it, there's our residue, and you do the same for uh, the rest of the points. Okay, so I hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening.